Proveniente de las gélidas aguas del sur de Suecia, el artista plástico Johan Falkman hizo una escala en México. La obra de Falkman destaca por sus retratos donde se perciben los estilos naturalista, simbolista y expresionista. Johan Falkman también ha incursionado en la pintura mural, donde reconoce la influencia de Diego Rivera, David Alfaro Siqueiros y José Clemente Orozco. Animado por este momento de la Escuela Mexicana de Pintura, en su visita a México mantuvo contacto con dos importantes personalidades del muralismo, Arturo García Bustos y Rina Lazo. En el 47, esa, bueno, yo llegué becada, había ganado un concurso de pintura en la Escuela de Bellas Artes de Guatemala y me encontré en el mejor momento de México porque llego me dicen la mejor escuela es la Esmeralda y me inscribo en la Esmeralda y a los tres o cuatro meses de haber llegado eh, fui alumna de Andrés Sánchez Flores, el químico que preparaba los murales para Diego Rivera y en la clase me mandó un recadito diciéndome que si quería yo ir a ayudar a Diego Rivera en el mural del Hotel del Prado, el famoso mural de una tarde dominical en la Alameda Central. Fue para mí una experiencia maravillosa de 10 años con Diego Rivera trabajando en todos los murales en que, eh, él, que él hizo después de esa época. Pinté cuando ya se hizo el metro, el metro universidad, tuve el, entonces sí la decisión de hacer un importante mural, creo que es importante porque lo ven millones de, de gentes de cada, cada día. El muralismo yo creo que tiene que renacer y, ten, y tendrá mucha fuerza y es la, es la forma de que el arte llegue a las grandes, a la población. Well, uh, I've always had a strong fascination for for uh, portraiture and. Um, Ever since I was a small child, I started to make copies of the, the work of Franz Hals. And I was doing it in my father's garage. And he would b put up big uh, uh, um, uh, cardboard plates on the walls. And I would make copies of these portraits. And so uh, even when I, went, uh, when I started my education at Pratt Institute, I had a, a fascination and a love for portraits. But, uh, It was not until I, I uh, came to Mexico City uh, for the first time that I really discovered this wonderful tradition of muralism. And uh, having had a fascination and interest in medieval painting, where you see the same kind of uh, group formations of people as you do in, for example, the, the wonderful murals of Diego Rivera, and also Siqueiros, uh, almost a religious or military formation of people, which creates an enormous dynamism. Uh, this, this to me was extremely interesting, and uh, uh, it hit me like, uh, like lightning. And uh, uh, after I had seen this in Mexico City, it was the Mexico, uh, history of Mexico at the uh, president, presidential palace, I developed a, a strong interest for Mexican rulers. Well, I try to, to uh, convey the same kind of dynamism uh, uh, that you will find in, a, in an individual, uh, even though I work with the group. So I focus a lot on the details of each portrait. Um, for example, these uh, murals that I did for the port of Trelleborg, you have hundreds of, of portraits. And they're all of, of existing individuals that are living today that I had posed for me and that I worked very carefully to, to represent their, their features. And also when I was doing the, the, the older historical part, going back 120 years in time, I found beautiful photographs. And what I did is uh, I, I tried to, to create a modern expression or an individualism in these uh, black and white photographs that I painted them. 
uh, the same way I would do if I, if I had a sitter in front of me. Um, I had a big uh, portrait exhibition 2006 in Sweden and I painted over 70 portraits of uh, medical doctors and uh, uh, those portraits were heavily relying on German expressionism and then now when I have discovered uh, the, the beautiful Mexican tradition of painting I can see how high, uh, uh, without being conscious of the Mexican uh, muralists uh, uh, have a lot of similarities with their way of treating the figure and uh, conveying uh, a psychological statement in the sitter. I see a lot of uh, German expressionism in the Mexican, especially Siqueiros and, and also Orozco. Uh, so, so this is, I, I, I feel that Mexico is much more a German culture than an English culture. Uh, which, is, which is interesting because if you look at America, it's really a much more German culture than it is an English culture. Uh, I've spent uh, many, many days studying the history of Mexico in the presidential palace. And I felt immediately when I saw this painting that his, his way of of creating this wonderful formation, group formations, uh, conveying both strength and pride, but also melancholy, which is even more prevalent in the work of Siqueiros. Uh, uh, this this, this uh, made a very, very strong impact on me. There is this strange, can you call it juxtaposition of feelings, uh, or um, a contradiction of feelings rather. Uh, this has been a, a land that was once conquered. Uh, at the same time, the people residing here today are, are a mixture of both the conquerors and the pre-Columbian people. And so there's, it becomes a paradox of feelings. Who am I? Uh, the grief uh, that, you, that you feel when you look back at history which is similar to what you would find in Sweden uh, before the Christian era, uh, which was about 900 after Christ. Uh, there is an identity crisis uh, uh, that I think is very prevalent and, and strong in Europe today. And you feel it very, very vibrant here in Mexico. And I think that the, the muralists, especially the three big ones, are conveying this in a very mesmerizing, uh, uh, fabulous way that speaks to me. And that I feel that I have an inborn similarity to them with them.